In this example, we're going to introduce what we call a mixture problem. Many times we're dealing with situations with two unknown quantities. For the sake of it, we'll call them X and Y. And we know that X and Y are mixed together in some regard. Now, if we have two variables, we're going to need two equations in order to solve for a unique solution here. And so these mixture problems naturally turn into systems of linear equations. And let me explain via some examples here. Suppose that 850 tickets are sold for some game and the ticket revenues make uh, the school here $1,100. All right, we know that adult tickets are sold for $1.50 and the children tickets were sold for a dollar. Could we then determine how many adult tickets were sold and how many ch children tickets were sold? So like maybe there's like a, like a football game at the local high school and they do charge for tickets maybe. And so we know that 100 or 850 people came and we know that the school made $1,100 in revenue there. So, but then we're like, oh, well, how many adults? How many children? How many students are coming? How many adults are coming? Can we break that down? And so we have two unknowns here. So the first unknown would be how many adult tickets, we'll call that X just for the sake of, you know, we, we could call it like maybe A and C if we wanted to, but it's called X, where X is gonna be the number of adult tickets sold um, at this game. And then Y will naturally be the number of ch children tickets, kid tickets that were sold at this game. So because there was a total of 850 tickets sold, we know that when you combined X and Y, you're going to get 850. Combining in this case, of course, means you're adding them together. If you take all the adult tickets and add them with all the children tickets, this will add up to be 850 tickets. That much we are sold. That's gonna be our first equation. And this is always what you would get with a mixture problem. You have your two variables, which are unknown. If you add the two variables together, you're gonna get some quantity, which you should hopefully know. That'll be your first equation, x plus y equals something, that something will be given. The next equation, uh, and so this right here is just gonna be our sum of the two variables, we'll know about that. The next equation you're gonna get with these mixture problems is gonna have something to do with a weight. That is, the two objects being combined together are not equal. That is, one might be heavier than the other. For example, adult tickets are more expensive than children tickets. So adult tickets have a rate. The, their rate is they cost $1.50 per ticket. So if I take $1.50 and I times that by X, so this is $1.50 per ticket, this is the number of tickets. So when you multiply those together, you're going to get the, the, the amount of money from adult ticket sales right there. And so let's make a comment about that. So this combined value right here is the adult, the adult sales. Now, if we do a similar thing, if we times the Y by one, so children tickets cost $1 per ticket and there were Y many tickets sold. So when we multiply those together, this is gonna give us the sales for the children. This is the, the, the kids sales that they make. And so then, if we add up together the adult sales and we add up together the kid sales, this will add up to be the total sales, which is $1,100 in this situation. So this right here is gonna be the total sales. And so this is what I mean by this weighted equation. The adult tickets don't cost the same as the children tickets, but when you mix them together, the total amount is gonna be 1,100. And so when you consider these things together, this gives us a system of two linear equations with the unknowns X and Y, in which case we wanna solve this system of equations. Um, we can solve it using substitution, elimination. A substitution would work really well, but I'm gonna do elimination because you know what? You have a Y in the first equation, you have a Y in the second equation. If I just subtract the equations from each other, they'll cancel out. So we're gonna take the, the second equation, 1.5X, plus y is equal to 1100. And I'm gonna subtract from it x plus y and 850 right here. So you're gonna subtract that. So if you take one and a half x minus x, that's just gonna give you half an x. Uh, the y's will cancel out, of course, that was the plan there. And then finally, if you take 1100, take away 850, that will be 250. So then to solve, we'll just divide by one half, 0.5. Of course, dividing by 0.5 is the same thing as just timesing by two. 
because uh, 0.5 is one half and divided by the fraction one half is just times it by two. So you get two times 250, which would give us 500 tickets. So X turns out to be 500. That means there were 500 adult tickets sold. Now we have to solve the system, or we have to solve it for Y, right? But when we look at the original equation, you have this X plus Y equals uh, 850. Uh, we can simply just subtract, we can just simply subtract the 500 from the 850, which is gonna tell us, uh, let's write it down right here. So we have that Y is gonna equal 850, take away the 500 adult tickets we sold here. And this is gonna give us 350 tickets. So we see that there's a lot more adults attending this, these games than uh, kids themselves, you know, so maybe mom and dad are coming watching their kids, bringing grandma and uncles and aunts and what have you. But turns out we don't actually, comparatively, we don't have a lot of students coming to these games. Uh, maybe this should be a concern for us whatsoever. But based upon what we found here, we see the following. Uh, there were uh, 500 adult tickets sold and 350 children tickets sold.